Hello Internet, this is Oleg and this is my tech review. Welcome. So we are back to the discussion of the docking station for MacBook Pro 16 inch which I recently acquired as a replacement for my trash can Mac Pro. And as you noticed in the previous video, I have my Mac Pro connected to two LG 4K displays and therefore my setup should include some kind of docking station when I can connect my laptop as a clamshell closed and then connect it to the docking station and that docking station should have all access to my storage, my keyboard uh, which is connected through the wired Apple keyboard and uh, all the other things which I require including two 4K displays The object I got is this guy here and uh, I'm going to test it and see if that's going to be working fine. It's USB-C Pro Dock and a Thunderbolt USB-C. Uh, it's also got a whole bunch of different connections and options which would be definitely beneficial such as it's got card reader for micro SD, uh, it's got uh, USB connectors, it's got also USB Type-C connector for data, the display ports connectors which can be connected to my displays as well and a whole bunch of other stuff including network and the other thing is the primary selling point of this box is that it's also able to charge your laptop because it's got an 85 watt power delivery of a USB-C and it's one cable one cable going back to your laptop and you got connections to all your infrastructure using that so let's unbox that it's uh, from Cal Digit. I got it from Amazon. The links will be in the description down below in case you're interested. So let's see what's inside. So let's unbox that. And we've got first of all this card, which is saying thank you. And the card is going from the company Cal Digit, and they say thank you for choosing Cal Digit. And they're asking you to rate the product. So we're definitely gonna do that after. It's also got USB-C. To USB-C cable, pretty small, and that cable is supposed to go from the laptop to the docking station. So that's that's it. It's black and it's like half a meter maybe. That's good enough. It's also got a power brick, which is 85 watt at least should be, and uh, it will be charging the docking station itself. Plus, it will get, actually be delivering power to the laptop, so it will charge while it's connected getting that and uh, also connection cable so and now we're going back to the actual brick itself the docking station so here it is I think there is nothing else included in this box yeah nothing else and the instructions are even on the box here as well as you can see uh, the instructions are on the box and it says you connect one cable to your laptop which is on the back and on the front you would have a whole bunch of stuff connections as well which is available for you and you can sit this thing on the table and it's metal enclosure so it will be very good for draining out all the heat which it might have during the operations and uh, you connect the power source and the rest of it it's up to you you can connect your network you can connect your SD cards and everything so let's look at it and then we're gonna test it and see how that's gonna work basically the idea here you put this on the table you connect your laptop you connect everything and once you got on the way you just disconnect one cable from your laptop and you're free to go once you're back you connect everything back and you back to your station and the good thing is it has the card reader which is micro sd which is very good and very important as well Alright guys, so here it is, it's all enabled and connected, as you can see I have connected network and I have connected my computer, this is this laptop, and I got my two screens ready, so they're all working, and if you want to really push it too hard, you can actually connect also your iPad as a sidecar screen, and you will have a total of four screens. So the only thing is, which I find out, is then we got charging over this port over here, the whole chassis on this particular area getting really hot and the temperature is on Thunderbolt is around 60 something degrees which is not quite pleasant thing but if you disconnect that the temperature will drop to around like 50 degrees this is a 60 so this is the Thunderbolt proximity on the Thunderbolt on the right side 
This is 61 versus 33, which is normal Thunderbolt connection, which I have power right now connected as well. Didn't make much difference if you connected to here the power and you're also using just this connector to drive the displays and all the peripherals over here. But I was hoping really it will, but it didn't. So as you can see the temperature is still the same, 61 degrees on Thunderbolt port on the right. And go to display. Right here we will have configuration arrangement. You will have your main screen. This is this guy. This is the sidecar screen. This is one display. This is the other display. Right, so all of them are working fine as expected and there's no driver needed, it's just out of the box visible right away. And as you can see here on the Pro side, this docking station is visible, it's Cal Digitink USB-C Pro Dock with speed of 40 gigabyte a second. So it all works, I also checked the SD card, that's readable as well, it's working. Uh, I also can see there's a network, so as you can go on the settings for the network you will see that that's visible as well here it is so it is connected and again there is no driver required so all solution works all together the only downside is that the temperature on the sensor is not really good it's like 63 degrees over here right now on airflow it's 52 but it's still uneven right so the fans are working unevenly as well but that's quite understandable because you have this connection over here driving a lot of data. Okay guys, so that's it for today's review. As you can see the docking station is fully functional and is one of the best docking stations available currently which support Mac OS and actually working for Mac notebooks because most of the other things which I saw on Amazon they only support Windows and for Mac OS you will need to install some drivers and uh, optional things which are not giving you good stability during the operation. So this particular dock station is actually operating without any drivers, as you can see, everything is visible right out of the box and it's working just fine. The only concern which I have is heating in balance on, on MacBook Pro, and, uh, but I think that's pretty self-explanatory why it's happening. Anyway, I will be using that for now for my MacBook Pro, for new one for 16 inch. I'll have to move all the files over from my Mac Pro to the new machine and then finish my transition between the Mac Pro and MacBook Pro. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and to the people especially interested in getting docking station as a one unique setup for that clamshell setup, for example, when your laptop is completely closed all the time and you connect keyboard, you connect your mouse, you connect your trackpad, and connect your monitors. And when you're on the go, you just unplug from your docking station, and here you go, you have your fully mobile station. If you have any questions about the usage of these particular docking stations, put them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer those. Thank you for watching this video and staying with me till the end. Until next time, peace.